Hello, friends. Hello. We're back. We're going to do a video about some booze. And I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah, so we thought we'd film this video to show you guys some beers and brews from the Minnesota area, which we currently live in, and that's where I am from. So um, we are going to start off with one from Duluth, Minnesota. Um, so shout out to Duluth if you've ever been there. It's a great place to visit. And this is from Bent Paddle Brewing. And this is called the Wilderness Tuxedo. And it's like raspberry and lemon sour ale. That sounds good. Yeah, it does. Smells like beer. That's good. <laughs> you smell raspberry and lemon? Went down the wrong pipe there for a sec. Uh oh. That's never good with lemon. <laughs> Burning sensation. Um, so it's not the beer itself, it's my swallowing skills. But that's really good. You can definitely test taste the lemonade and um, the beer, the raspberry. It's not like super bitter or anything. It's actually nice and refreshing. I like it. Mm -hmm. So I think neither one of us are a fan of like bitter, uh, like hops or whatever. Um, we're more of the fans of like the malty uh, type of taste. Not that we're really big beer drinkers though. I wouldn't say either of us are, but occasionally we like to try, so. Yeah, we're like the uh, take a drink when you feel like taking a drink. We're not like party yeah. animals or anything like that. Yeah, it's really good. You definitely get a big hit of the lemon, like you said. And then a little undertone of the raspberry and a little bit of a beer, like multi kind of taste. So yeah, I really like this. Yeah, I would recommend that to somebody if you like lemonade and raspberry um, and if you like beer. Mm -hmm. So Ben Paddle, Wilderness Tuxedo from Duluth. Good stuff. Yeah, I think it's like a good maybe beer for people that don't like beer very much because it's that initial like lemonade more of a taste yeah it um, is. that's true and then the beer is just kind of at the end so mm -hmm. i think if you're not a big beer person it could be still one that you may enjoy possibly yeah but beer is beer <laughs> and i like it i think it's good uh secondly we have this one which is Lithbridge mango blonde and this is from stillwater minnesota so is just an ale with mango apparently. So there's a lift bridge in Minnesota or in Stillwater that they used to use and it was like crazy dangerous for all these cars and stuff to pass over because the weight was unreal for this tiny little bridge that's been around for who knows how long. Yeah, super old. So I think you can correct me if I'm wrong, that's what it's named after. Yeah, so it'd be the lift bridge in Stillwater, I believe, yes. Nice. Um, but yeah, this is really good too. I'm actually shocked. It does have a little bit of a mango essence to it and it's really good. This one's really smooth. Mm -hmm. Like it's got that smooth uh, kind of feel on your tongue and in your mouth. Yeah. You can taste the mango and it's, you know, got that blonde <laughs> uh, kind of taste. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this one's like... Oh, it's almost like creamy, but it's not a cream, I don't think. But it's mm -hmm. got that smooth kind of feeling. Yeah, the smoothness is definitely there. I like the mango too, because it's it's there and you can tell it's mango, but it's not like so strong where you're like, oh, this is like super fruity. And I don't know, sometimes that's weird when it's like extremely fruity, but this is like a good, good mix and it's, um, just a nice, like, like you said, it was like, feels smooth going down. And yeah. It's pretty good. So this is the Pistachio Cream Ale by Indeed Brewing, which is located in Minneapolis. And we've had this and it is really good. So we just thought we would give it a try here for you on camera because we both really have enjoyed it. Yeah, I was kind of leery of it at first. I like pistachio nuts and stuff like mm -hmm. that. I was kind of like, eh, am I going to like this? 
but mm -hmm. yeah, it's good. Yeah, so there's that really good like pistachio flavor and I would say there's like a tiny bit of sweetness to it. It's definitely that sweet, creamy type of a taste. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, it's not like sweet, like, you know, sugary or anything, but um, it just kind of has that like sweet pistachio dessert, like just that slight hint of that in it. Yeah, you can definitely taste the cream mm -hmm. aspect to it. I probably taste the cream more than I taste pistachio, um, but you can take you can taste both. They both come through, mm -hmm. and um, I don't know, it's just a good one. We recommend. Yeah, so if you can find it, I don't know how widely available these are, but if you are you know in the Minnesota area, um, hopefully you would be able to find them near you. So if you're in the Midwest, you're definitely probably going to be able to find them. A lot of times, in my experience. Um, if you have something that you're interested in, you can go to a local liquor store and you can request that they order it. And then, uh, you know, they'll stock a few of them and see how they do. So if you're unable to find it and these interest you, that might be something that you want to do uh, in your local area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, I think all of these we actually purchased at Total Wine. Um, so if you have one of those near you, you may have good luck finding some of these um, smaller, smaller breweries. So in closing, you know, these are three that uh, we like, two of them the first time we've ever had, and we would recommend yeah. them now. Pretty impressed. So, and then like we said, we've had the pistachio one before. So yeah, give them a shot if you're a beer drinker. Um, beer's always good, man, like with a brat, <laughs> <laughs> or at a baseball game or a football game or I don't campfire, know. Campfire, sitting around yeah, the campfire. Restaurant, definitely going camping. Mm -hmm. um, we're <laughs> not like slobbery drunks or anything like that. <laughs> like oh we don't gosh. like get wasted every night or anything, but we like an occasional beer or a glass of wine and um, you know, thought we would throw some of these out here. So thanks for joining us as you rode along on our little booze cruise <laughs> and we hope you guys have a great day if you have any input feel free to leave it down in the comments below mm -hmm. and uh yeah thanks for joining us and watching we appreciate all your support we'll see you next time bye